They can go. Go ahead. Looks like the press is coming out tonight. John Wilkes. Some of you I have met already over the years. Tonight, the family members of the many victims shall see due justice. As one time preacher turned convicted mass murderer, Dietrich Van Klaus is put to death by the means of electrocution. Her upper and lower abdomen punctured 62 times with a fountain pen. David Ledbetter, his cranium bludgeoned beyond recognition with a wooden fence post. Lynette Dahl, battered and sexually assaulted with a searing fire iron and drowned in her own bathtub. Newlyweds John and Rebecca Callan, tortured, each tooth slowly ripped from their gums. Rebecca was raped repeatedly before both their throats were laid open with a fish scaler. And Juliet Levin. Here today, who escaped her captivity after being shackled and tortured for days, along with her younger sister Danielle, who was not so fortunate. And though it will not bring back the departed, it shall hopefully bring some comfort to all those in need. Time you are entitled to make any apologies or verbal reparations to the family of the victims whom you have so greatly harmed. Indeed, I have, Martin. I would like to recant my father's favorite passage from Leviticus that he so often loved to quote. Any man that blasphemeth the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. And all of the congregation shall certainly stone him. As well as a stranger, as he who is born in the land, when he blasphemeth the name of the Lord, shall surely be put to death. And if a man cause a blemish unto his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall be done to him.
Good, good. Mm. Johnny? Hey. Hi. Johnny. Nice to see you. Out of the way, love bird. Don't be jealous. I think it's jealous. Oh. Yeah, I What's wrong with you? Get that out of your mouth. Could you just You know relax? we can get in trouble for that, right? Oh What's wrong with God. you? What are you five for Seriously? Hey, Kyle. look at this guy. Oh, Kyle, hey, hey. Is really? Been, hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for this. Plenty of time. Fine, fine. And a better place. I get shotgun. How does he even get that in anyways? It's Kyle, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Throw this stick! Hey. Throw hey. this stick! Woo! All right, guys, cell phones, pass them up. What? Pass them up. What? Pass them up. I told you guys, we said no phones this weekend. Oh, you were serious? Yeah. So stupid. Come on, guys, we all agreed to this. You guys said you want to have a nice weekend, relax, no phones, no bosses. Yeah, yeah, I know what we said. <laughs> it's my iPod. Yeah, and I know what it is. Where's the phone? I didn't bring it. Ah, come on. Fine, just take it. There we go. Throw those things in the glove box. Just lock it up. Better hope you don't lose that key. Not gonna lose the key. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Anything cool lately? I have actually, but uh, nothing your feeble little mind could possibly comprehend. <laughs> hey, Heath, you remember when you shot Miss Hattleberg in the neck with a paper clip <laughs> and she had to take sabbatical? Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> that was fucking yeah. awesome. Hell of a shot, dude. It was good times. Don't forget about Tony's guinea tees, huh? Hey, it's a t shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's meant to be worn under your clothes. It's not his dress wear. Is that it? Hey, like you said, nothing has changed. By the way, when, when did you dye your hair? What? Yeah, didn't it used to be like a murky brown? It was dirty blonde. It was brown-ish. Wait, he shot the people with the Hanneman bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the conversation, Kyle. No, I actually missed you guys. <laughs> you know, most people don't even keep in touch after high school. Yeah, it's kind of cool that we did. Wait, we're not high school anymore? <laughs> <laughs> So you sell weed for a living? Kind of. I mean, it's not like I've declared all my taxes, but you know, it pays child support, so. Proverbial stone. That's me. Oh, check out that old graveyard over there. Everyone hold your breath! What? Everyone has to hold their breath! What are you talking about, Jerry? 
when a really evil person dies and they're so evil that hell can't even take them, they're forced to roam around the cemetery that they're buried in, trying to find souls to possess. Yeah, I heard of this. So when you drive past the cemetery, you have to hold your breath or else they can possess you. Just everyone, quick, just do it. Where did you hear this? Dude, it's been around forever. Never heard of it. Me neither. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Come on, you guys, this is serious. Just hold your breath, please. Not really, guys, come on, please. That shit, huh? I could have killed us. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I know. Is everybody okay? Dude, get me out of this thing. I need to take a piss. Well, looks like we're off to a great start to our first annual camping trip. Hey guys, come check this out. What is it? I don't know, but it's freaky looking. It's like a prison or something, doesn't it? Judging by the fact that we are indeed in the middle of nowhere, and with a fence built around the perimeter and what looks like a guard tower, I'd say, yeah, dude, it definitely appears to be a correctional facility of some kind. Got it. I think it's abandoned? Yeah, look at it. Awesome, we found an abandoned prison. Let's go. Period. It's cool. Hey, Tony. Back in a few. Dude, where are you going? What? Are you guys kidding me? We have to be at the campsite before dark! Johnny! Natasha! What are they doing? They're gonna bang. Oh, this is bullshit! I'm gonna go get them. All right, I'm coming with you. Come on, seriously? He's gonna be done in a minute anyways. Jerry! Should we go? What do you think, man? Now, y'all go on, but stay together. I'll see you real soon. All right. Let's go. Based on the architecture and building materials used, I'd say early 1900s. But, uh, yeah, clearly hasn't been used for a while. You think, Sherlock? There's gotta be another way in. I vote we leave. Go back then. I'm gonna go for it. Ditto. Come on. Everything 
right, son? I don't know. We were uh, just driving down the road. The engine just died. All right, pop the hood, let me take a look. How long you been out here? Oh, not too long. Don't see anything wrong under here. Those your friends I saw walking down the road? Sir, I ask you a question. Nice, kitchen. Hey, Heath, how about you uh, whip me up some pancakes? I'm good, man. I only eat waffles, so that would be stupid. Let's go this way. them with their perversity probably went to the dance hall try to relive their prom right the dance hall might be more interesting actually yeah why is that dance hall is slang for execution chamber how do you know that I watch a lot of shows on prison hey, yo check it out this is where they could stick the barrel of their guns out to shoot in case of an uprising For it to eat. It could still bite me. Oh my god. <sighs> Ladies first. I have to take a leak. Right now? Yeah. What a weirdo. Well? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, come on, tough guy. You sure you're, you're not the one who's afraid? I ain't afraid of nothing. Jerry! Hurry up!
for you. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. With keys? What the hell's wrong with you? What are you doing? Fucking freak! I'll hold on. Fucking animal! Who are you doing? No! 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 Come on! You freaking freak! They still use it as a secondary means of execution. Seriously? Yep. I couldn't even imagine being electrocuted. You see there? Sit the guy right there. Sit this right over his head just like so. And they have all these people sitting right over there and watching him. And then it's Zap his ass. Sit in it. What? Sit in it. Hell no, I'm not sitting in that thing. You scared. Okay. You sit in it. I'm a girl. What the hell does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what happened to you? You used to be such a badass. I still am. No, not really. You've changed since school. 
Arrived to do something before. Well, as you said, I've changed. What do you want? Blow me. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I ain't sitting in this chair for nothing. All right, then. I guess you're not gonna get that blowjob. Yes, but then again, you said maybe. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? You're into the bargain. I said maybe. Yeah, yeah. What a... What, what, <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm strapping you in. Oh, no, 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 no. Not gonna happen. What, you think you can just sit in the chair and that's enough? <laughs> Come on. I, just get up and I'll sit in the chair. No, no. Strap me in. All right. Good boy. Sam, can you help me start from in? Uh, I don't think so. Come on, help your sister out. Please? Are you sure this is such a good idea? Shh, just do it. Yeah, shh. Grab me in. Get me out of it. You only just got in it. Tony screaming and, well, I don't know, I heard you guys too, so I was gonna come get you. Fucking idiot. idiot. This is joking, man.
What are you fucking saying? You bitches, you almost killed me! What are you guys doing here? We're looking for you, asshole! Dude, I was strapped into this thing, and this storm came out, and that almost killed me! Okay, okay, are you all right? Is everyone okay? Fuck. Let's get the hell out of here. You guys couldn't wait to get to the campsite, huh? It's pretty pathetic. It's because I don't fuck everything that walks. This part of the country always have sudden storms like that? I've never seen anything like this before. Fucking business. Just don't ruin the weekend for the rest of us. Keys. You know what? Natasha's gonna sit in the front. Tomorrow. Let's just keep driving then. I want to be as far away from any kids and crowds as possible this weekend. Well, the sunshine makes me want to stay in bed. And the moonlight makes me go. Nice. Huh? Huh? Damn it! Why do we give Johnny our phones? Hey, I don't like it either. You know, if you want your phone so bad, you can go ask him for it. Well, That's everything, is it? Yeah. Hey. I'm missing a bag. Did somebody else grab it by accident? Then it fell off when that stoner. Flick that pipe into Johnny's lap. Hey! You all right, Kyle? You'll be okay for now. Come on, I'll drive you back. He punched me. He punched you? He punched you? Kyle is such a creeper. Why do we even bring him? I'm gonna mess with Kyle. <laughs> Perfect idea. Wait, let's just. Looks like he's having a nightmare or something. 
Everything that's happened so far. Kyle burning me, almost crashing. Going into that crazy asylum, getting locked in the morgue. Tony almost getting electrocuted. He didn't almost get electrocuted. Look, Tony's just a big baby. He acts like he's all tough, but he's really not. Tony's tough. I see him do some damage. No, he's not like you. Like when Heath was coming after us in that stupid Halloween costume. We didn't know who it was. But you pulled out your knife and you pushed him behind you. It's because you're my baby girl. <laughs> it was really great of you. I think that you deserve to be rewarded for your heroes. I mean, I'm not one to brag, but, like, I was pretty brave. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let me up real quick. All right, that's not working. Oh, that's it. not working, is it? There we go. <laughs> I hope I don't have too much trouble with your zipper. <laughs> You okay? You've been kind of quiet. <laughs> Why are you suddenly not talking? You're funny, Tony. All right, look, we're coming up on the cemetery here in a minute. Your bag probably just rolled off to the side of the road, yeah? Somebody's angry. Sounds like it. Hey, Sam and Tony back yet? No, they're not actually. Oh yeah? How long has it been? It's been a while. They should be back. You wanna go up to the road? You think they're still up there? I don't know, but beats in around here. Should we ask them to come? I, I, oh, oh, no, 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 no,
Okay, I'm really starting to freak out now. Yeah, let's go get Johnny. Hey, guys. Where are you two been? Up at the road looking for Samantha. They didn't come back? No. <sighs> Try calling them. You're such an asshole! Just kidding. Go get the flashlights. I'm sure they're fine. They probably just got a flat tire or something. Yeah, I hope so. I'm gonna find him. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. What about Kyle? Kyle. Ah! Ah! Get Whoa. away from me! Shh. It's just me, dude. Calm down. Oh my god, dude, I was having a nightmare. <laughs> there were cops, and you and me were fighting about something. I think you need to lay off that weed, brother. Come on. Uh. Uh. Listen, uh, Tony lost his bag in the drive over. He missed Sam. Look for it. It's been a couple hours. We're gonna go find him. Do you wanna come? Yeah, I'll come. Sure? Yeah. Okay. before her? Yeah. Wait, guys, don't we have to hold our breath? No, that's, that's only when you're driving by. It doesn't matter when you're walking. Come on. Check this out. It's definitely from a large truck or some kind of SUV. Hey, Johnny. What? Come take a look at this. What is it? Oh, shit. What? Is that blood? That's what it looks like. Come take a look at this, man. Fuck. What is it? Whose blood? Huh. What, babe? Blood would indicate that there was an accident or someone got hurt, right? But if a vehicle lost control and crashed through a gate, why is there blood here? Oh my god. We need to go find Sam. We Whoa! Need... How do you know this has anything to do with Sam? They're probably back at the campsite. We should go back. Because those tracks look just like the ones from our car. So? It just, it, do, it, does, it doesn't feel right, okay? Sam would be back by now. She would never do this, okay? Just help me, please. Come on. Oh, 
heard it. Just slow down. He's ready to rip you a new asshole with a pitchfork. <laughs> now, I got a 12 gauge, you got a knife. You might want to put away that knife. You take another step closer to me, you'd rather jack off a bobcat. Now, I'm gonna ask you again nicely. Put away the knife, fucking please. You heard about the you killer too? I don't know your friend. I've never seen her before. I hear a horn honking. He's ready to just impale you with a pitchfork. Well, that's convenient, huh? You just happen to be here? I might need to ask you the same thing. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. We gotta get out of here. What the fuck are you talking about? I'll explain later. There's not much time that we have got to go. But we can't just leave them here. The hell we can't. There's some things going on out here tonight, man, that you do not understand. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. <laughs> we have to help her, please. No, 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 stop. Help her. Help her. Help her. Help her. No, 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 she's gone, Jerry. Late. She's gone. Okay, it's too no, late. Calm no. down. Please, calm down. Okay, cut the bullshit. I'm going. You're dying. Hey, wait. Wait, wait. We're coming. We, we have to get help for our friends. Your friends are dead. I know, I know, but we have to, we have to gotta call the cops or something. Do you have a car? No. Okay, you have a phone, right? You have a fucking phone. Hello, are you deaf? We need to get help. Are you paying somebody to help you misunderstand me? I am your help. Now let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Wait up! some coffee. Hey, can we get some answers?
pour your own damn coffee. That phone don't work, ain't worked in about three weeks. Had a storm come through here. Stupid phone company ain't had the balls to come out and fix that thing. I thought I told you to sit down. Always have a fresh pot of coffee brewing at this hour? Yes, I do, because I can't sleep at night. You want to know why? Because I work the graveyard shift over at that good child asylum across the way. You heard of it? Yeah, we drove by it earlier. Look, we need to get a hold of the police. Police can't do shit. Can't do nothing till the morning. There's no fucking time right out of here. Sit the fuck down! Y'all are gonna die tonight. Unless you do what I say. You're gonna end up like your two friends out there. That kind of sucks, don't it? Listen to me, my name is McBride. And I was a guard at that good child asylum. We had the worst, decrepit, nasty persons you could ever imagine. And many years ago, we executed one of them, the worst of them all. His name was Dietrich von Klaus. Never heard of him. Yeah, no shit, because after we executed him, there was a fire that roared through there. Destroyed everything. Records. Archives. But that son of a bitch was the worst one. You'd rather chew glass and beat off with sandpaper than sit in the same room as that son of a bitch. Could you get to the point already? Shut the fuck up. Now what happens is every year on his anniversary of his execution, his spirit runs free. That's what's going on right now. That's what happened to that boy out there that I had to kill, and he's the one that killed your little girl. I mean, this is ridiculous. No, dude. Honey was acting crazy. He chasing us with a pitchfork. He tried to kill you. He did, man. is every year on his anniversary of the execution he runs free and he's got a window and that window ends tonight at midnight how does he possess a body there's a graveyard up on the road out there did you all pass that graveyard on your way in did you hold your breath all of us but uh but him. Do you feel any different? I don't fucking know. He was acting really strange. We thought we thought maybe it was because he had some bad drugs though. Now, do you remember anything? I don't know. I've been having bad dreams. Tell them what happened when we went down the good child. I don't know, okay? I don't remember. It's all right. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Because 
when a spirit possesses your soul, you forget about it. You can't remember shit. How about the rest of you? How y'all feeling? Is everybody okay? Because what can happen sometimes is a spirit can jump. Jump? Somebody's got some wicked thoughts, like they want to hurt somebody, or they want to kill somebody. That spirit can take that opportunity to possess that person's soul. So how do we prevent that? We just have to keep holding our breath? No, it's too late for that. Once that spirit is out running free, there's nothing to do about it. Until we can put him back where he belongs. How do we do that? another pot of coffee. But we haven't even drank any. you're gonna have to stay here. Why did the rest of us have to stay here? Because if there's too many bodies out there, Von Klaus can possess every one of you and I'm not in the mood to shoot a bunch of 20-something year olds. I wouldn't know where you're taking him. This is the way it's got to be. If we want to save your friend, Johnny, are you in or are you out? I'm in. All right, let's go. Okay. It's okay. Take care of her. I have a question. Do we get a gun or something? What the fuck are we supposed to do if that crazy bitch comes back? We need a weapon, a knife, or something. This isn't gonna work. Shit.
come out of nowhere. So wh what are we doing? Hello? What are you holding your breath? Somebody for you? Show yourself! Pussy! not Johnny. What? That's Johnny. It's his body, but he's been possessed by Wilkes, the ward. What? How could you let that happen? Who the fuck is Wilkes? What, what are you talking about? We let you have our friend and you fucking put another spear in him? Kid, you are about as confused as a baby in a titty bar. I told you to trust me. of you inside of there. Can you let me know? You don't have to speak, just give me a sign. idea where he may be? She? Wilkes? You see something, Wilkes? You see something? Wilkes, what do you see? So I want you two to stay real close to us, you hear me? Kyle's gone. Son of a bitch! That's exactly why I didn't want y'all to come out here. Look, you think I asked for this? None of us asked for this, okay?
All right, let's head on back. Stay with us. Come on. Hey, hey, hang in there. Oh, come on. Damn it. Okay, he's getting away. You go down one side of the path, I'll meet you in the mausoleum. Let's get this son of a bitch. Go, Johnny, go, go, go!
What? 